So he has given here uh, in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, AD is perpendicular to BC is given. And we have to prove here, to prove uh, 2AB square equal to 2AC square plus BC square. So proof here is given here uh, again one more thing is given here db equal to 3cd okay so db equal to 3cd is given here so db equal to 3cd that means we can say bc equal to we can write from the diagram bc means we can write cd plus bd so cd we can just write the same thing bd equal to or bd or db okay db equal to 3cd 3 CD. So we can say this is 4 CD. So BC equal to 4 CD, therefore CD equal to BC by 4. So we can just try it again one more time, therefore CD equal to BC by 4. Now in triangle, in triangle ADB, this triangle, so by using Pythagoras theorem, by using Pythagoras theorem, what we can say? Uh, AB square equal to AD square plus BD square. And in triangle, okay, here again we'll change here, therefore uh, AD will just keep here, AD square equal to AB square minus BD square. So therefore I'll write here AD square equal to AB square minus BD square. This is the first one. Again in triangle, triangle ADC, we'll take the other triangle, second triangle. Here also same thing, AC squared equal to AD square plus CD square. So here, um, here also same thing, we'll just write here AD square equal to, bring it AC square here and bring this one here, minus CD square. This is the second one, okay. So we can say comparing, comparing 1 and 2. What we can say this two is equal a d square a d square that means this two we can make equal so a b square minus b d square equal to a c square minus c d square okay so here we can write again a b square equal to a c square minus c d square and bring this one here plus b d square and now again a b square equal to I'll just write the same thing a b square equal to a c square minus that c d square c d equal to what we can write c d square c d equal to okay before that we'll just write c d square we'll write the same thing again c d square will be same thing plus again b d square b d equal to b d equal to 3 c d so we can write here 3 c d whole square b d equal to 3 c d whole square so therefore a b square equal to a c square minus c d square plus 9 c d square 3 square is 9 so therefore a b square equal to a c square and 9 c d, c d square minus c d square is 8 c d square so therefore again a b square equal to a c square plus 8 into c d is here already we got c d equal to b c by 4 so we'll write here b c by 4 whole square so a b square equal to a c square plus 8 into b c square by 4 square is 16. Then a for a b square equal to a c square plus b c square by 2 because 8 we can cut 2. So here we'll take LCM now. If we take LCM is 2 then here is 2 a c square plus b c square. Then if you bring 2 here 2 a b square equal to 2 a c square plus b c square that's a proof 2 a b square equal to 2 a c square plus b c square okay hence proved